Yo, what's good? Bunch of fans were asking me to come on live. I haven't done this in a while, but um, I just randomly decided to come on here. Let's see how it goes. Let's see if we can get some ladies on this motherfucker. Send me a request if you want to come on the live. I ain't done this in a minute. filming. I'm so confused. Oh, wait. Who's this? Wait. <laughs> Hello. What up? What up? You ever been on my Is live? Is it dark in here? You ever been on my live? Hmm? Where's the light? Put the light on. There's no lights in here. I'm, in a, I'm at work. <laughs> Which corner you work? I'm in Australia, Melbourne. Uh, have you ever been on my live? No, I just, I was just at work laying down and What's your name? saw your Jezebel? thing. Jezebel? Je yeah. you, <laughs> like you like Jizz? Jezebel is my joke name. It's your church name? <laughs> no, it's my joke name. It's a joke. Oh, okay. What's your deal? We have a spoken Nothing. Before? Yeah, we have. Okay, I can't. I can't. <laughs> I don't remember. I can't tell from names. I'm, I'm the one. With, I'm the one with the t-shirt. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, remember the, there's a light here in ATM. Which t-shirt did you get? <laughs> um, the sex assist one. <laughs> For no reason, okay. I was just bored. Yeah. No, that's what's up. You look good. Uh. What do you rate yourself from one to ten? I don't rate myself. You don't? Why not? Is that your ass? Hmm? Did you just show me your ass? It's, it's not big at the moment. I haven't been working out. Let me say, show me again. I haven't been working out. <laughs> don't worry, I won't judge you. Wait, let me try and turn the camera around. I can't even see in here. Hold on one second. I gotta block somebody. All right, see you later, you piece of shit. You're blocked. So, yeah. your mother. Show me your ass. Let's see. Go to the light. Go to the bathroom. One moment. Where you work? Not near you. Not in Australia. No, I'm saying, what kind of job you do? Mm. Damn. What are you, you're, work, you're walking around with, in, in panties? Yeah. At work? <laughs> yes. Where do you think I work? Strip club? You're a stripper? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Why does it look empty at your job? What do you think? Look at Melbourne. Is, is it the end of Gotham the night? City. What, what time is it at work? It's called Gotham City. Look it up online. What time is it there? Um, it is, I think it's like, maybe like 5 o'clock. A.M.? It's dark in here because the show hasn't started yet. Oh, it hasn't started I'm yet? Put, put the light back on. Show me that ass. <laughs> Take back calling me a piece of shit. Did I call you a piece of shit? Yeah. When did it? Yeah, let's, like, it's hard to see. Hold on. I like that. It's okay. Oh, yeah. Fucking dope. You want to be my girlfriend? Hmm? What? Would you like to be my girlfriend? <sighs> 
you want to come to Melbourne? Pay me. I gotta pay you. I'm joking. No, you don't. I, I would never pay no bitch. Nah. Yeah. Fuck fine. that. That's the thing I don't like about strippers. You're always about money. I'm asking you to pay me. You probably won't ever see me. I live in Australia. I'm saying, come to New York, and and you could be like my I girlfriend am. for I'm a very, week. I'm going to America in a month. You're coming in to New York in a month? No, I'm not. No, I have to stay for another six months and work. Why don't you come through for the weekend? And, shit, and we'll hang out, and, and then you can fucking leave. Because I spent all my money. i got to save up. It don't cost that much money. I, mean, I just went on a holiday to Gold Coast. The karma, you know? What? <laughs> I went on a Gold Coast to, um, with Tama, my friend. We're not friends anymore, though. You don't want this dick? You got too much access to dick, huh? You don't even care. How many guys want to fuck you where you're at? Like, it's all, what, do you, what do you get, like 20 messages a day? I'm going to go to LA. I'm going to, I'm going to LA. You're going to LA to, to what? Become a porn star? No. Just to look what? around and see all that. <laughs> Why would you go to LA before New York? I'm not sure. I might go to New York and then LA. Why don't you come to New York so I can fuck you and then you can, I'll send you off very happy. Um, Would you let me fuck we'll you? See. Okay. Yeah, sure. Do I want to fuck you? Am I, can, can other people see me? It's a little hard because <laughs> you, you got it all dark over there. Are you somebody to fuck? Do, do, do we want to fuck you? Are you clean? Yeah, if you want. Do you have a clean pussy? Of course I am. Yes, I do. It's cleaner than your dick. Cleaner than my dick? How would you know? <laughs> my dick is clean. What do you mean? Why would you say that? <laughs> Why would you say that? About your pussy? Huh? Because you're a stripper. Strippers are nasty whores. I mean, you No, I'm only a stripper when I'm at stripping. Are strippers not nasty pigs? What I'm a thinking? human being. What Wait, I gotta thinking? go. So, uh, what do you think? Okay, I have an interview. I have an interview right now, babe. You have an interview? Yeah, I gotta go. All right, go eat a Wait, deck. let me just check. Wait. Wait, yeah, let me just check, okay? All right, go eat a deck. I'll get someone else on here. Oh, I'm sorry. I gotta go. All right, bitch. Thank you for talking to me. Later, ho. See ya. Uh, no, she's cool. She bought merch, so I'm not going to shit on her. I scare her? She's a fucking stripper. They show their cunt on stage. Come on now. hard to see on here with these glasses. Who else wants to come to my live? She's an escort? Probably. Get some more people on this motherfucker. Why are you faggots asking to join and then when I, I send it over, you're not accepting? Fucking idiot fuckheads. It's like dealing with retarded people.
Oh, it's been a set to Necro. Salute, my G. How you been, man? Have I had you on my live before? Nah, man. I've been listening since Dead Body Disposal. This is the first time we're ever talking. What's that accent? Uh, a bunch of everything. Uh, Portuguese, uh, Espanol, from España. It's, por it's part gay. Uh, American. It's yeah, part gay. American, it's part got Texan. Got it's Floridian. Part, it's part gay, you said? No, no. Oh, I thought you said it was part <laughs> gay. What, what is that accent coming from? It's, it's. I never oh, heard. It's from moving around the planet. What's good Where though, Necro? Hey man, let's, yo, let's dead body simple. disposal. Let's start simple. Where do you live now? Oh, unfortunately in Texas. Okay, I see. Nah, this place sucks. You don't like Texas? No, nah, I was born out here, man. This shit sucks. I want to go back to Brazil. Plenty of hookers and fucking, you know, over the counter right. fucking heroin and shit. You like catching AIDS in Brazil? Ah, I love it. Kind of like oh. three times. Those women out there, they're all about fucking AIDS. Yeah, and they all got dicks, too. What's good, Necro? That, that excites you? Nah. I prefer the vaginal. So what do you do, man? What's your, what's your uh, deal? I'm not here to promote myself. I make beats and film and shit. You make I just want to say what's film? up to you, man. Does yeah. that pay, does that pay uh, the bills? Nah. Fucking look at Spotify, man. Fucking Napster pays more than Spotify. Nah, that's bullshit. Napster sucks dick. <laughs> I, I make way more from Spotify than Napster. Let's do some either way. Every record label sucks dick, dick, now, dick. If you, nah, that shit's garbage. Don't don't sing that garbage <laughs> on my live. Um, don't sing that whack shit on my, on my live. But uh, what you want me to say? Uh, the only people that say uh, that Spotify is worse than Napster are people who have no fans. Yeah, exactly. I got no fans. You have, Exactly. I so, got only fans and no followers on there either. If you had fans, you know what I'm saying? You wouldn't They'd be say paying. That. I'm trying to get people live on here as well. Let's see. Hold on. I don't know why. Hey, man, so yo, I just want to say peace, man. Yo, Dead Body Disposal is my shit since high school. Is it? Yeah, man. Dead Body Disposal. Tell When's the last time you pulled merch for me? Puzzle, puzzle. What's that? Who else wants to come my live? Send me a fucking request. Yeah, fucking get me the fuck out of here. Go fucking talk to goddamn Necro and shit. What the fuck When's am I the last time you bought merch? You bunch of fucking lame-ass motherfuckers and shit. Hey, man, how'd you, uh, how'd you link up with Cool G Rap, man? When's the last time you bought merch from for my store? From your store? I bought uh, merch one time from you in a year when I was really fucked up. And I caught one of your live shows. All right, so like 20 years ago, right? Basically. Yeah, man, I'm in my 30s, bro. Why are you not supporting now? Because I'm fucking broke as shit. Yo, listen, that's not nothing to be proud of, man. If if you're broke, you, you should get on a hustle. Like, well, well, I don't understand. Well, what do you what do you wake up and what do you do? Just have everything here. It's got the whole home studio and all that shit. So if you got Just all that it. shit there, why are you broke? Ah, choose to be broke. You choose to be broke? Just kidding. I can't get any fans, man. I can't afford it. See, so okay, so hold on. So you, you're investing all your time in life into into what? Making music? But you but you have no fans. So you're not making any money. Nah, I just eat hallucinogens and just fucking hang out all the time. How old are you? 34. You're 34 and broke. <laughs> And you, and, we're, and you can't buy Stay like, brother, I tell you what, listen, man. God damn, I tell you what, I do this shit all the motherfucking time. Listen, this is fucked up. You're 34. <laughs> Who gives okay? a fuck, man? It's You're all, broke. It's all, you can't afford any making merch. making money off of music nowadays? Wait, wait, you can't afford any merch. Um, why don't you do something Oh, this is different? shit I've accumulated over like 15 years. Okay, listen. Yeah, yeah. Here's a suggestion. My G. Here's a suggestion. You see all that equipment that you have there? Sell it. Sell it. Immediately. <laughs> well, let me tell you why you should sell it. Number one, sell it because... I know. First of all, you'll accumulate enough money to buy some merch from me. <clears throat> then you'll get some good karma. <laughs> Listen, then you'll get some good karma because you'll be wearing Necro merch. People My karma is so fucked up. Last thing I need is your karma on me. No, no, no. I'm going to help your karma because you're going to buy merch. 
and it's going to start helping your shitty karma. And then people are going to see you with it. Somebody's going to help you because they're going to see you with the necro shirt. Can I just 3D gonna... print you a mask or some shit and just send it to you? Listen, I do sell masks. You can buy the prefix for death mask. Mask. Which is much <laughs> doper than that mask that you just showed me. <laughs> Like, listen, about, you bought I mean, that you mask, right? In, like a fucking meat warehouse on the dock. Listen, you bought that mask, right? You put, you put nah, money I printed away that, on that one. Piece. Huh? I printed that one for free. You printed it for free? Yeah, 3D printer. That's why it sucks. Yeah, I know, right? To it's too big, the it's too big for my big ass Irish head. You need to buy the prefix for death mask. And um, <laughs> you need to walk around town wearing it. So nobody has to look at your fucking face. I know, right? Yeah, and then they I, won't I know you're mirrors. that broke guy that I can't buy merch. all the mirrors in my fucking house, G. So listen, what are, what are you doing for me, bro? You fucking basically said that you you know you brought up a dead body disposal. Yeah. Just don't, man. I, I fucking yo, are you I was even, raised on it. Are you now even, I want to ask how you linked up with Cool G Rap. Listen, I'm not answering that. Listen, do you, because you don't buy merch, I can't answer that. If you bought a shirt, <laughs> I would yo. respond to that. Listen, I understand fair, that shit completely. Fair and square. Listen, if you bought a shirt, I'll tell you anything you want to know about Cool G Rap. All right, but cool. if, if you but can't you got- buy a fucking shirt, you can't expect me to give you the whole fucking story. Now, listen. Yeah, I got, the, dead body I got the Uncle Howie shit on fucking vinyl, fam. Do you even stream it? No, I don't stream shit, man. I got, I got your fucking records over here somewhere. Okay, you're fucked. Let me explain why you're fucked. I know I'm fucked. I want to explain why you're fucked. Get so that people shit. People can watch. Here's why you're fucked. Because <laughs> you haven't supported me in 20 years. So you're basically nah, you listening to some, nah, listen, you're listening to some shit that I might have made a sale off of 20 years ago. Yeah. And I probably didn't make that much money off of that vinyl or CD. Because oh, I know. Then, yeah, record labels. No, well, no, 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 no. And not, not that whack-ass song you keep bringing up. It's because back then, when I was doing shit independently starting out, it cost a lot of fucking money. I did everything independent. So yeah. I was my own record label. But Rest in it, peace, co- it cost Howard, a lot of money. Man. Listen, it cost a lot of money to get CDs and all that out. So I didn't even make that much money. So I might have made 2 $3. Oh, I know. Off of your dead body disposal. And check this out. <laughs> but listen, you're yeah, listening about to dead body on. disposal for 20 years now, enjoying it. I yeah, probably got $3 from you. You have not bought a fucking shirt in 20 years. You got all this whack-ass equipment here <laughs> trying to be a rapper. <laughs> flooding the market. Listen, you're flooding the market so that people don't listen to more Necro. And they're listening to... Might have to fucking... Hear your shit. I know, God forbid. Their ears will bleed. Yeah. They'll waste a fucking minute or two. Okay? Now remember, if there's a thousand of you, they just wasted 2,000 <laughs> minutes. When what you should do, here's what you fucking should do. I'm giving you advice right now. I know, I'm listening. Sell I'm all listening. that equipment. Buy a ton of Necro merch. <laughs> get a Spotify <laughs> membership. <laughs> create a bunch of playlists with all necro shit stream me constantly and right, i'm cool. telling you good i'm gonna set up three computers to just stream and refresh the browser every no listen brother minutes. you will have good karma here's what will happen for you somehow somebody will see you rocking the necro shit and all that <laughs> you won't be annoying them with your fucking music because obviously you have no fans, <laughs> and they'll they'll give you a job Maybe they'll give you a job in tech, and you'll work, and you'll be in computers, and you'll oh, work on a shit. new app. I can't learn, like, Linux and C++ and shit. I got to buy the merch first, then I can learn Linux. I mean, listen, you can do both this hey. at the same time, but what I'm telling you is what you're doing now ain't working. I know. It's apparent. It's a, listen, let me explain to you why it's not working. Please do. You're, bro- you're 34. Yeah. Broke you're fucking shit. broke. Listen, Living you're broke parents. at 30. Listen, that's a disgrace in itself. <laughs> I'm just not, I'm just keeping it real with you. I'm not. I know. I'm not. I'm not. Listen, I'm not I'm, saying this to I'm shit on you. I'm acknowledging the truth. I'm saying it because you don't have a father telling you this. No, I do. He's just sleeping. Yeah, but he doesn't tell you what you need to yeah, know. Yeah, we do have a lack of communication. Right. Because if he did, did not listen. Not strippers anymore. Listen, if your father told you what you needed to <laughs> fucking hear, you'd have enough money to buy a fucking shirt. 
Okay? All right. So what I'm trying to tell you is 34, broke, can't afford a fucking shirt, and has not supported <laughs> Necro in 20 years. <laughs> I'll fuck with you, man. Hey, you're yo. All fu yo, you're fucked up on all levels. Here's where we need you to yeah, be. Yeah. We need you to be 34 with money enough to buy a Necro shirt and stream my music. The only way I see so far, you can come up with more ways currently <laughs> sell those fucking monitors and that computer <laughs> and get Damn the fuck shit. offline. Stop hey, what, focusing what's the on gold. I don't to sell these monitors on, man. And tell your I'm father to fuck himself. I don't want to pay shit for father. father. Any father that condones a, 34, a broke 34-year-old, he's not doing his job. Oh, he's got a broke 32-year-old, too. Yeah. So, you know what I mean? Have a talk with him to get him out of your life. Hey, what, what happens if they don't listen? Who? My father. Ignore him. Stop talking to him. Cut him off. Cut your father like, off immediately. Like cut the limbs off or like? No, no. Stop communication with your father. Your father is useless oh, okay. to you. Listen, I know it's fucked up to say. It's, we, we don't want to hear it. No, uh, here's the fact. I do stand your up. father is a bad influence on you. Indeed he is. Okay. He, you know why? Because he, he didn't teach you how to hustle. He didn't teach me financial literacy. I he agree. didn't teach you a fucking thing. Yeah. Did he teach you anything? Not really. So he, okay, so say it with me. Your say it father, with so my father, say it. My, my father is an asshole. Is an asshole. Say it again. My, my father, father is an asshole. See what I'm saying? Now I you feel better. Bro, that's the beginning stages of you becoming this new man you need to become. Yeah, Cut him I off. started about two weeks ago, but Cut him I off. appreciate the support, though. Sell the equipment and buy Necro merch. <laughs> Message me after and send me the confirmation email when you buy the merch, okay? I'll see. I'm about to fly talk. to 7 Eleven tomorrow and just wear some fucking. Uh, let's see. Yo, man, you play any fucking like PC gaming shit? You doing? All right. That's enough for you. So, uh, yeah, man, listen, bro. I'm sorry, people. If you're 34 and you're broke, that's whack as fuck. You should already have fit. You know what I mean? Listen, I'll cut you slack if you're 20 years old and you're on here and you're a broke fuck. Because you're 20, you're still figuring shit out. By, 20, by 23, I had started psychological records. I was not rich or anything like that. But at 23, I started something. I had a passion. I believed in what I was doing. I invested everything in it. My own father was shitting on me, telling me, you know, you'll never make it, da-da-da. You know what I mean? I was dealing with that. Uh, obviously, everybody was a hater at that time. 30 fucking six, 35, and you're broke is whack as fuck. And don't go on somebody's live if you can't support them by a shirt from them. Because you're not supporting the person. Why are you even on my live? Go on fucking Little Yachty's live. If you're going to be on Necro's live, be somebody that supports the brand. Be in the position where you could go cop a shirt and show me that you're rocking a shirt. And when I see that, I'm saluting you. Like, yo, salute. You a soldier. Now we're friends now. Now I feel like you're, you're part of the brand because you're helping it. I don't give a fuck in 2022 if you own my vinyl. I'm being straight up with you right now. I don't care if you own my vinyl or if you own my CDs. That shit don't impress me. You're not doing me no favors. This is a new world right now, man. Think about what that's like. That's like it being 1990, right? And you telling an artist from 1990, I own your 8-track or your little fucking uh, 45 from 1960. Like, yo, they ain't trying to hear all that. Do you understand what I'm saying? In 1990, they, they were pushing what? CDs or whatever? You know, that was the new shit. That's what, that's what was for sale. You understand? Right now, digital is for sale and my merch. T-shirts, hats, jewelry, snapbacks, hoodies. You understand what I'm saying? If you're a fan right now, support me right now. Don't give me the bullshit. I don't care if you got a dirty vinyl in your thing. That's great for you. You understand what I'm saying? That's wonderful. Okay, but you're not helping the fucking rapper or the artist keep his business going. And then all you little fucking turds that want to say, 
what are you desperate no it's not about desperate you shit face is nike desperate when they're selling you nike and they put a huge fucking ad in times square are you do you walk past the the nike or the hill figure or the polo or whatever north face and go yo they're desperate nah you go to the fucking store and buy a new jacket from them why is it the rappers that you listen to every day motherfuckers that are on here right you're listening to necro as much as you're wearing nike right you buy the nike you put it on your feet you walk around then you pump necro in your ear why is it hip-hop fans will support a corporation that is known for sweatshops but front on buying a fucking shirt or a hat from the rapper they listen to every day and then y'all talk shit to us and be like yo you sound desperate da, da. so we're not allowed to hustle i'm literally like a one-man business with five six employees um nike's a corporation with sweatshops you'll buy nike without even thinking about it and spend 300 dollars on nike but necro you'll shit on be like nah I, I i bought your vinyl 20 years ago i support i went to a show 10 fucking 10 fucking uh uh years ago like yo fuck you motherfucker straight up yo go fuck yourself because this ain't fucking 2008 right now man i'm not gonna salute you for owning a vinyl nah you know what i'm saying buy a shirt buy a hat go to necroproduct.com you know what i'm saying or show me how you support you tell me how you're supporting the brand you know what I'm saying? So I know. So I'm like, oh, okay, you did that. You do that. I got to hear something. You know what I mean? You can't come back with a rebuttal. Go fuck yourself. Don't message me. Don't enter my world. You know why? Because I got enough fans every day that message me that I could spend all my time with them. I would rather kick it to the homies. Who are the homies? People that support now in 2022. You ain't my homie if you supported 10 years ago. That's 10 years. You know what it's like? Let me explain it to you so you, so you dumb fuckheads understand. If I owned a restaurant and you ate in my restaurant 15 years ago, and that's your way of telling me you supported my restaurant now in 2022, what would the restaurant person say? He'd tell you to go fuck yourself, motherfucker. Because you're not coming. Okay, you support a restaurant, you go to the restaurant constantly. You understand what I'm saying? Because you're friends with the owner. If you listen to Necro every day, why are you not going to my store supporting? Why do you feel a 10 year old purchase means like you f you're representing for me? Fuck all that, bro. That's where fucking hip hop is warped, man. The hip hop community has always been fucking warped. It only works for what you want to, to work for. And because hip hop is all ego and every fan is a rapper and, it, and for, for you to worship Necro, you're writing your own raps. You know what I'm saying? Everybody thinks, and it's all ego, and it's all fuck you. Everything's fuck you. Hip hop is basically fuck you, right? Am I wrong? Hip hop is about rappers telling the other rapper, fuck you, I'm better than you. I'm the shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So your attitude becomes fuck Necro. Why help him? Why rock with him? But here's the way it works, bastard. You'll never have anybody support you if you don't support other fucking artists. I, I, I buy mad shit. I give tons of company sales. Nike being one of them, which is why I use them as a reference. Yeah, we all fuck with Nike, right? We don't even give a shit that, with the sweatshop shit, right? Because we don't think of it. We're not close to that. We're like, yo, it's Nike. Know what I mean? So we go and buy Nike and we rock it and because and, and, it's fresh sneakers. We don't even give a fuck, right? Or how about with the Blood Diamonds, right? All these rappers, they don't give a shit that your little kids are being fucking abused or whatever that story is with diamonds and right. Sarah Leone and they're, they're doing slavery and fucked up shit to, to, to make all that ice that you're wearing. Right. You just want to rock the ice. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's the mentality of some of you fans and customers and people in general. You don't give a fuck about nobody. You just want what you want in the end. It's crazy to me that a motherfucker will front and not buy a shirt or a hat or something, but you'll buy Starbucks every day and spend $7 on a fucking coffee, a coffee you drink that won't last. You buy a Necro shirt, Master of Ruckus, World Gone Mad, Death Rap, I Need Drugs, 
You got the shirt for 20 years now. You'll be rocking that shirt. You could have it for 20 years. You could pass it down to your kid. But you see less value in buying a shirt than every day getting that fucking Starbucks. Because you're a dumb fuckface. Here's the reality. A lot of people are dumb fuckfaces. I, and I pity you. I feel pity for a dumb fuckface. Because there's people that know that they're dumb fuckfaces. And then there's other people that don't realize that they're a dumb fuckface. The ones that don't realize, I'm here to school you. Let you know that you're a dumb fuckface. And, and, and drag you out of dumb fuckfaceness. And become a smart motherfucker. You understand? Hold on, what do you say? You sound mad. Yes, I'm very mad. You sound mad. You know who says that? You know what kind of person goes on a lie like this and says, you sound mad? A faggot. A faggot. Doesn't mean he's having sex with men or whatever. It's, you know, it's, you know when you call in hip hop a, a faggot, somebody who's a fucking bitch? You're a fucking bitch. You definitely have no hustle going on. Okay? You're broke as fuck. You don't respect anybody. So you're not respected by anybody. And that's the kind of person that would write that. Anybody who's in this room that's a real hustler, that understands, that has ever had his own business, you get what Necro's about. You understand. And I'm here for y'all. I'm not here for these fucking faggot, bitch-ass motherfuckers that really, they, they'll never support anyway. They just go online, they troll, they smoke their fucking weed. Who gives a shit that you smoke your weed? Stick your weed up your asshole. Nobody gives a fuck that you sit and play video games all day. You're a waste of fucking sperm. You understand? Your mother should have fucking aborted you. Straight up, your mother should have just got fucking rid of you. Coat hanger level shit. Okay? Because you don't contribute. You don't create anything. You have no drive. You're a lazy, dick-sucking, fucking pussy hole. You never do nothing in beef in person. Or you try to jump people. You ain't got no heart or fucking honor. And, and, and you're worth it. We don't need you. You can be eradicated from the human fucking earth, from the planet, like Kanye. Like Kanye, the anti-Semitic, or whatever you want to call it, hater. He said he's, he hates all Jews. This stupid fucking faggot. What kind of billionaire is worried about even doing dumb shit like that? You got a billion dollars, you stupid piece of shit. He made money off all his people and everybody in the world off selling garbage. Crap, crap garbage sneakers. Yet he thinks he's different than any other Jew or anybody else who's a capitalist and is making money, right? He's so special because he's a little crybaby pussy hole. And fuck his mother too. Kanye... Let your mother rot in a fucking grave. You understand? You said fucking death to my people? Let your mother be eaten by maggots, you fucking piece of shit. I would beat the fucking shit out of Kanye one-on-one -on -one in a room alone. But we all know he's a pussy. He's never been gangster. You know? I could never say what he says, right? God forbid, necro. This guy, Charleston White, this other fuckhead, got caught. Uh, I guess a video came out with him saying that he raped somebody. And people will allow that. You can basically be black and say, fuck Jews. You can be black and say you raped someone. And it, it's all good. Could you imagine if I did the opposite of what these people do? I would be fucking attacked. I'm not allowed to do the shit that they do. Okay. You know, why? Oh, because I'm a Jew. I'm the devil. Right? I grew up in Glenwood Projects, in the hood, poor, never been handed a fucking dollar from anyone, built PLR myself. I built psychological records and funded every beat. Every beat you ever heard from me, I paid for myself, released it myself, and did it myself. If anything, that's a representation of a white Jew. Somebody who was not helped by the cabal and Hollywood and fucking whatever other fucking dumb shit you fucking idiots think. The projects. I think a lot of you people don't know anything about the projects. The projects, Glenwood projects. You should do some history and go learn about Glenwood projects. 
Glenwood Projects is a housing project similar to Queensbridge, 26 buildings. Queensbridge is 96. So it's one fourth the size of Queensbridge. Way less amount of fucking rappers came from. Okay. Ugg from Cellar Dwellers, Necro, E Money Bags, my brother Ill Bill. Okay. We come from Glenwood Projects. Half my projects was Jews. Poor. Okay. Russian Jews, all kinds. Some Israelis, me. We had we had a couple of Irish people there. Uh, we had some Italians. Uh, Fifty percent were blacks. Okay, that's Brooklyn, New York, for you. Anybody who has a fucking brain and comes from New York City, Brooklyn, New York, knows that there are a whole fucking spectrum of Jews that ain't running fucking shit. I'm not Hasidic. Okay, I don't have fucking curls. I'm not religious. I don't smell like fucking stench, all right? I'm just so happen to be Jewish, okay? Like someone happens to be Italian or Irish or black or Haitian or whatever. We come where we come from, okay? But we all grew up in Brooklyn, New York, and we all fought each other every fucking day. And some of us were friends, and some of us are still friends. Some of us ain't friends. But you got shit fucking twisted. You got this stupid fuckface Kanye. He's pay- this is the problem with the media. And he's painting to the world, you know, like, oh, Jews, all the, all the, I'm a Jew. DEFCON 3 on me? Fight me in a room, one-on-one. Let's see what you do. Let's see what you do. No weapons, no bodyguards, nothing. Head up, one-on-one, me against Kanye. I mean, you know, (laughs) we know that he would get beaten to death, okay? I would have him crying on the floor saying, sorry, Sorry, because the beating, the amount of punches to his face, it would, he, 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 you wouldn't recognize him anymore. But uh, it is what it is. I'm going on a fucking rant. Let's get another motherfucking person live on here. Let's get a chick live on this motherfucker. Any chicks up in this bitch? I don't know. We'll try some random people. I don't give a fuck who wants to come on here. You want to come on? The Scoochie boy. Fucking Ronald. Ronald Ronstein. Hey, what's up, dickface? Gerard hey. Buck, gay, gay boyfriend over here. Yo, who? Where you from? Where you from, Fanook? I'm from Buffalo, New York, you fucking chooch. Bro, you look like your face got beaten with a bat, bro. Who fucked you up recently? Nobody, you look like, like you face look like them face 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 Where? You right, bro? Where? Your whole face my face, face got punched in. Yeah, you just like mad like your brother's like way doper than you. L Bill's way doper you than you. Dick sucker. What'd you say, dick sucker? I, I said your brother's way iller than you. Yeah, your brother's way iller than you, Ron Steen. What'd you say, faggot? See you get mad. L Bill's way la, better. La 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 later, pussy. You better talk to me correct when you come on my live. You speak correct. Fucking clown. That dude looks like his face got beaten by fucking a three year old. Fuck out of here, pussy hole. All right. Who's next? Who wants to come on the live? You want to come on live? All right, let's let you live. I wanted to get a bunch of people on here. Who else wants to come on the live? Let's get three, four people on here. Nah, fuck them. Not respect to them. Fuck them. Uh, I'm trying to get more people on here. Where you at?
Necro. What's up? Fuck all, brother. Salute. Got my chain, man. You got your what? Got my chain, mate. Okay, see, that? that's what I'm talking about. Salute to you, brother. Where you from? Australia, mate. Melbourne. I'll see you here when you're at the Corner Hotel. Melbourne is dope. Hold on. Let me get this other guy up in here. Cool, man. Well, he's saying let him in, but maybe that's you because it said the person was in. You're for, who else wants to come on this live right now? Yeah, how good's a Beetle jumper, fucking SK94? Shout out to Melbourne. I got love Thank for you. Melbourne. Melbourne's always shows love. Yeah. All right, mate, you always had dope shows out there, dude. I'm you back, bro. Not you too. again. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Come on, My bro. My good sport, man. Come on. Stop being a fucking me. groupie, bro. Listen, you already were on, bro. I know. You, you asked for people to be on. There's only 72 people here. I'm just here to let y'all talk. Bro. Nah, nah. I'm done with you, bro, because you know you don't support. What's your name? God fucking Bobby. Bob Dolomite. Show you right. Now, what's your name in this thing so I remove the right person? Oh, it's uh that other one. It's uh Philip I-9. Now, you're Dink, right? <laughs> Dude, why are you being so mad, man? Yo, I met you at a live show. You signed the vinyl. Oh, you fucking blowjob, nigga. Dude, you Fuck fucking this. hung up on the other dude. Oh, man. You see, this is... The, these cocksuckers, bro. Like, he still wants to come on a fucking live. Fuck you. You can't buy a shirt? Go eat a dick. Seriously. I ain't got time for that bullshit. All right. Let's see. Unbelievable. Sorry to the Melbourne dude who actually fucking supports. He had the necro chain. Respect to Australia. Try to get back on, bro. Send me the request. And I'll get you back on, brother. Bad, eh? I ended up removing the wrong dude. Hey. Yo, put your light hey, on, yo. man. Where's your light? Uh, it's Spain. Yeah? It's Spain. It's Spain. My name is Dentry. Yo, Dimitri. Hey, España, España. Yo, Dimitri, put your fucking light on, bro. Where I can't see you. I like in Spain, hermano. Yeah, I like that. Put your fucking light on, you motherfucker. I see, bro. Where's your light, man? You broke out there? Um, you can't afford light? No. Spain. That dang? You give. Es Spain, Spain. You give brain? España. You give brain? Soy de España, hermano. España, hermano. Yeah, and you're culo. Who else wants to come on this live? This fucking guy, he, he, he doesn't have electricity in his motherfucking house. Who's next over here? All right, so this, this guy was cool. I'll get him back. I don't want him to feel like... Uh, it better not be this cocksucker from before. All right, Melbourne. Yeah, bro, I'm Melbourne. not going to fucking... Oh, fuck all, man. I'm not going to take up... That fucking Fanuc shit. was fucking... Keeps requesting yeah. me. Well, he should have fucking sold his monitors already, mate. Get some fucking money. I mean, Start I don't like these broke fucks. You know what I mean? It's like <laughs> yeah. too many of them. Yo, I hear you, man. They're, fuck proud, it, they're man. proud of being broke. They dead dead body disposal. House, dead beat father. Up, and he's proud of being broke, and I don't respect that shit. Yeah, I just don't yeah, respect sure it, you know? Yeah. And I don't respect people that talk about, you know, supporting 20 years ago. Like, go <laughs> fuck yourself. Like, it was 2022. Yeah. Nah, because this guy will buy, he'll go buy a, a brand new pair of Speedos this week, but he won't buy any Necro merch. But he'll go buy a dildo for yeah. himself this week <laughs> for him and his fucking boyfriend. Now, I reckon he doesn't even know your shit, man, because people bring up, like, old tracks that they fucking, you know, knew. Right, yeah, right, right. He's not you know, listening so he's to just anything anymore. Sin. Now, he's you're just right. talking he's, sin. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's bringing up a track from 30 years ago. He doesn't even listen to anything anymore. I get it. Oh, shit. My man, Miracle Lee. What's up, Lee? 
Hey, you doing, brother? He's from New York. Mad musician. Who? Oh, my friend Lyrical Lee. Cool dude. I just saw him pop who, who else wants to join this live? We got any chicks up in this motherfucker? I'm not Where saying any. I gotta figure this out. Hold on. But yeah, Nick, my bro, I'll leave you talk, man. Thanks for letting me come in and fucking always support, bro. Salute. Yes, sir. Take it easy, my friend. All right, peace. Where the chicks at? What the fuck is that? All right, let's invite this person. I'm about to get the fuck off of here anyway. But I'm going to upload this shit to fucking YouTube. All right, I'm going to fuck out of here. It's been good. See you later, fuckers. Much respect to all the fans that support. Remember, support in 2022. I don't want to hear about the old shit. Go to necroproduct.com. Go to Spotify, listen to my new tracks. I just dropped the Sex Assist joint. Go down south, it's cold. I just dropped fucking um track called Crazy. All right? And uh, more shit coming. Salute.